Matt, welcome back to the shop. And uh, a subject that a lot of people are interested in is um, material technology. So, oh, well, not material technology, materials. <laughs> so, I have here some copper, and this is some copper that I brute strength. So, if your missus wants to be impressed by your fucking how strong you are, get some copper and you can bend it. This is um, washed out so you can hardly fucking see anything. Let's get some light on the situation. There we go. Right then, so you can see here I've got some copper. It's actually the background that's washing it out. So here you can see I've got some copper. This is uh, eight mil, I think. I've also got some copper flat bar. So you can see, you give it a bit of the heave ho. But now that I've bent it, oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> it's work hardening there. What does work hardening mean? Well, basically what it means is that when we bend it, we are introducing stresses into the material, internal stresses, and the more we bend it, the harder it gets. Fucking bastard. Eh. Now, most things can be work hard, and a lot of materials can be work hard. Fuck me, and you feel the heat coming off it. Here comes Isaac. To the rescue! So, as you can see... He is a dickhead. Right, so the more we harden this, the more Hello. we... <laughs> dickhead. So the more we fucking wrestle with this, the harder it's getting, and the harder it gets, the more brittle it gets which means that it's losing, you can see it cracking. Can you see, how oh, well can you fucking see that? Can you see it? No, I'll take a picture of it, it's probably better if I take a picture of it. But you can see that what we're doing is we're starting to work on the material, it's becoming brittle. Right, so as you can see, copper work hardens to the point where that happens. It becomes so hard that it snaps. So, Another sample we've got, some guy sent me, this is pretty much pure aluminium. This is, as you can see, still quite weak. Um, you can get basically better alloys, a 7000 series is pretty much one of your best. And um, again, aluminium is quite brittle um, for the material it is. Has a bit of malleability. Then we've got steel, this is just drill rod. See that takes quite a bit to fucking bend that. And this is titanium. So this is a lot thicker, but she ain't going fucking anyway, it's quite a thick cross section. But what we can do is we can look at some of the properties. So what I want to concentrate on in a sense is this work hardening malarkey. Um, and we're going to talk a bit about annealing as well. But what is work hardening? Well, work hardening is like you see blacksmiths do. Basically, if you give it a good fucking clout, this now becomes work hardened. Now, someone in the comments did say that if you hit a hit copper with a hammer, then it basically um, that's a way of annealing it. That is not the way you anneal it. It's work hardening. This is called cold working because, well, the copper's cold. And as you can see, that's pretty much all I can do to squish it. What we'll do is we'll measure that, and then we'll anneal it, and then we'll give it another whack, and you'll see how much we can get out of it. Any road. We can actually look at some of the other material properties of these things with heat. So what we can do is get our aluminium. Our ACF's getting fucking pushed over. Just clamp that in the vise, get some heat out and then, uh, well, heat it up. Right, 
And so what I've done is I've heated the aluminium up, I've um, heated it up and then just flattened it. This is just so we've got a thinner cross section so you can see what happens when we heat aluminium up just with a blowtorch. Now a blowtorch's flame is around about 1300 degrees, give or take, the beauty, beauty. As you can see, the butane torch, we can quite easily melt it. The other thing is with aluminium is, right at the end of this rod, I can feel it's getting fucking hot. It's a very good heat conductor is aluminium. Right, so that's the thermal experiment for aluminium, and the lights just shit the bed. And well, let's test the others. Right, so the next one we've got is we've got some drill rod. My clicky clicky, my fucking blowtorch is shit. Come on, focus, you bastard. Oh, for God's sake, there we go. So this is drill rod. Oh, it clicked on. There we go. As you can see with the steel, the steel starts to glow. Oh, master of zoom, not anymore. The end of the steel, I'm grabbing one with the other hand, isn't really um, hot because steel is a poor conductor. And then you can start to work. Well, this is called hot working but you can start to work the steel when it's glowing hot. So that's the difference between steel and aluminium, is that steel, come on, focus you bastard. Steel has a much um, higher melting temperature, literally pretty much double that of aluminium. Right, moving on. The next one we've got is titanium. And why are you fucking not focusing, you motherfucker? Focus here, you piece of shit. There we go. Isaac, stop being a dick. So, next one we're going to do is we're going to heat up some titanium and see what happens. You can see that titanium still glows, and it's such a poor conductor that it actually glows for longer. However, titanium retains its strength at higher temperatures more than steel does. We've got tool steel, we'll see if we can get some mild steel in the future. Um, but you can see that titanium is quite light. Uh, lighter than steel but still retains its strength. The most important thing about titanium is that it retains its strength when it gets hot 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 hence why we want to use um, titanium for exhaust valves and stuff like that. Right then moving on to copper 
So what I've done is I've gone fucked up and I've gone and bent a fucking lovely wave pattern in my copper that I wanted flat. So what can you do? Well, you can get your hammer out. And you can try and straighten it out, but she's still been a bit of a dickhead. But if we heat it, then we should be able to anneal it which basically means just allowing all the atoms, the structure, to all relax instead of being all fucking bunched up like they are now and we should be able to straighten it Right then, what we do is we now leave that to air cool. You don't basically, you can quench it in water. Uh, best result size is if you just leave it to cool naturally. Right, we'll come back when she's cool because she is back in hot and uh, we'll uh, have a go at hammering it straight. So, what I've done is, is I've just given this a quick whack with the old hammer. You can see that she's nice and straight. But another demonstration is. This is just the copper as it was before. That's how that bends, and now our annealed bit. Yeah, it's just nothing, just absolutely nothing. You know, we bend that back, use a finger. Fucking. Or, we go back to this one, use just a finger at the same distance. Yeah, it's a lot easier. Shitloads easier. So, as you can see, what we've done is we've annealed the copper. You'll see it goes this like, kind of like rosy colour. What is that down there? There's that, um, don't kick the camera or whatever you do, there's a wire brush. I oh, forget it, don't I? But yeah, you can see that she's annealed. And it's quite easy, but it is getting harder. The more you whack on it, the more you're work hardening it, 